Hello there, Reject Nation! We got ourselves an official trailer for the latest Predator movie, Prey. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> He's coming for you. Or she's coming. They I don't know. They are coming they. for you. Yes, gender neutral Predator. Gen <laughs> don't gender my Predators. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. Huh. Okay. I Themes. saw a sign in the sky. I'm ready. My only Nita. Oh, dang. You done pissed off that bear. <laughs> Like the edge, or like the revenant. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Oh. 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 Wow. There's something out there. Cool. You can't. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me from what? They're speaking English. That's right, man. It's They're time. assimilating. Holy crap! <laughs> this does look really sweet. I know how to survive. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow! Is that a colonial guy? Is that a colonizer? I can kill it. Wow. Oh, wow. Wowie. Damn. <laughs> Can't wait to watch this on Hulu. That's where this was meant to be seen on your phone. <laughs> Whoa. The first Predator trailer in a while that really feels like this could be it. This could be a <laughs> solid return to form here since... You know, the first one. <laughs> hey man, justice for predators. It's okay and kind of recaptures some of what you liked about the first one. Well, this really captures that uh, great level of suspense and tension and the way Dan Trachtenberg, director 10 Club Refeal Lane, another excellent movie, by the way, the way he handles perspective in so many of the shots, like I, I'm an animal lover. I, I gave up meat strictly because of my love for animals. So watching animals die on screen is, is something that I'm really sensitive to. Now, that being said, I was pretty badass the way that she was done at the same time with the bear. It's like the way yeah. they captured that that reveal perspective of it being in stealth mode and just having this big ass bear move. Wow, <laughs> that was a man. really awesome. And, and what a great way to, to set up the threat level of her not having any real idea of what she's dealing with. Really sets up the obstacles this person has to overcome. And also with having to prove herself in her own tribe with a, like a really cool character arc for her to go through. Okay in order for her to, I mean, I feel like most of her, her people are gonna end up getting killed off by the time she can win the respect of the trap. Yes, you know? <laughs> It'll be the last guy will die the second he gives that single nod of respect. Like, All right, you're in your honor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Officially. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this, this looks like every bit as just immediate and visceral and, you know, punchy as you would hope. And I mean, you know, Dan Trachtenberg, what he did with 10 Cloverfield Lane in such a restricted space was really cool. And so I'm excited to see the kind of tension he applies to why 
wide open spaces and the kind of claustrophobia you can get from being out in a field or in the woods or something like that. Yeah, it just looks lean and mean and really tangible. And I feel like being back in this time period, I think they said Comanche Nation is what they were taking nice. inspiration from. You know, I, I feel like that's an appropriate way to go because you are in a much more tangible realm. It's not machine guns and, you know, modern tech. And I really just love some of the imagery we got here, like of them walking through the woods at night with the torches and things like that. Like this looks like it could be as intense as you're wanting it to be, but also have some really gripping uh, visuals as well. You know, some really striking, you know, use of its time and place that way. Are we gonna be getting some like English settlers? Uh, I thought like I saw some, yeah. Some dudes with some guns, and muskets yeah. and stuff, yeah. <laughs> and I bet they're gonna be made out to be bitches. They're gonna step in and be like, what ho, we know what we're doing, <laughs> you savages. Let us take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, musket goes up, Three dots, kablooey, you know? Pilgrims ain't shit. <laughs> I, I'm curious as to what level of cultural relevancy this movie will attempt, because I feel like you could go just lean and mean and have that be enough, but I feel like you could also, you know, throw in some commentary to make it a little more rich. But I do fully expect any colonial characters just to be murked on the spot. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they need to throw in commentary. I think they just need to throw in authenticity of the depiction of them. The commentary will just be whatever people interpret from the fact that you've got a female character in it and you female have character Native and American the predator too. standing in for oppressive forces from the outside <laughs> yeah. taking their lives and land. Uh, but also it's going to be like historical fiction. Yeah. It seems like they'll be dealing with too. Yeah. Because it has some moments that feel like a little cheesy. But that's Predator. That's yeah, awesome. you the want first, some cheese. First Predator movie has some cheesy ass shit in there, man. And this, <laughs> this, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> this, this definitely had a little bit of cheesy moments. It feels like that it'll earn some of the that cool cheesy action versus what happened before like this feels like what they should have called another like it, it sucks that i think this one has been flying under the radar a little bit because a of the reputation the predator franchise has developed and b the fact that it's called prey not not even like not even a prey predator. a predator movie a predator <laughs> story yeah 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 absolutely i feel like there are going to be people confused and i i keep hoping perhaps that if this is good maybe people will be like you gotta check out the new predator movie what there's a new predator movie yeah it's called prey but just check it out like i'm glad they gave it a different title at the same time i'm like yeah it's gonna mean an uphill battle for you guys <laughs> yeah yeah of brand recognition well, sad as i am to say that i mean the benefit for it coming out on like something like hulu gives us a chance to react to it here for you guys the channel I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, because this looks pretty excellent um, in spite of whatever random cheese there is. I wish they feel like sure they would go full on commitment to just keeping them in their native tongue. I would love nothing more than to have it be like full apocalypto, just like having yeah, exactly. to yeah, speak the native language and just subtitle it and please go from there. They'd really get those box office or Hulu subscriptions with that. <laughs> yes, they would. Everyone yeah. who joins for American productions with subtitles is the most popular genre. I mean, there's parts of this that feel like the Revenant meet Prey. Yeah. Totally. What's that? Because of the bear. What's that? Yeah, is that movie called The Edge with uh, the bear? Yeah. Any nature movies with bears? That's what this reminds me of. That's right. It's all the bear movies. Bear, bear, bear fight movies. <laughs> all right, guys. What did you think about the prey trailer? Leave your thoughts down below. The prayler. Talk to you guys soon.